Hey guys, Marianne here with Shopping Crafty. So I had shown you guys last week, I think, or maybe two weeks ago, how I plan my weekly work schedule in here. And now I want to show you guys my uh, YouTube planning style because I know when I started my YouTube channel, I was really trying to figure out how best to organize it, how best to plan things out. And I'm still figuring stuff out. My channel is still pretty new. Um, but this is the system I have so far, and I think I will probably develop it a little bit further. So this will also include a little bit of my budgeting stuff, just because I feel like they go hand in hand since my YouTube channel is... Um, about budgeting. It's really weird. I just said go in like a Wisconsin accent. Um, I am from Wisconsin originally, so that was interesting. All right, so here is my debt tracking thermometer, which I love. I fill that out every month. My annual expenses master list. Then my YouTube video ideas. So some of these I have already filmed, some of them I have not. Um, and basically, if I'm running low on ideas and I need to plan things, I'll look at this list. And also, if I come up with ideas, I'll add them to the list. So I only have written down 49 ideas, but I've already got um, like 60 videos. So clearly, I don't write every single thing down. But this is just in case I want to film something in the future and I need ideas. Then over here, I have write down my schedule for the month. I write down the dates. I started out color co color coding. Oh my gosh, why am I Wisconsin right now? I think it's because my cousin's in town and I'm just anticipating hanging out with him and his Wisconsin accent. And so it's just coming out. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, so I write down the date and the video. Here it was color coded like um, teal or green. Or blue down here it's blue um, is budgeting stuff and pink is acting stuff but I feel like as time has gone on my videos have sort of just combined and been less separate um, because it's about budgeting as an actor so anyway I have the date and then like the orange was miscellaneous it was the book I released um, so at first I was doing two videos a week or trying to do two videos a week. Sometimes it would end up being more because of collabs and stuff like that. Um, and now it's about three videos a week. And I don't want to like promise you guys a schedule because my work schedule is so crazy. I do film videos in advance, but things like my budget with me's will usually either be like Sunday night, Monday morning, or maybe even Tuesday morning if it takes me that much time to get the video up. Um, and then now it's gonna be like, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, usually, depending. So yeah, I plan this out usually a month in advance. I really, it's getting to the end of January now, um, and I really wanna plan out March videos, because I've already started filming, as you can see, like a bunch of videos for February, because I film a few weeks in advance. Um, well, a couple weeks in advance, it depends. Because like January review, I know I'm not gonna film until the end of January, so I film more in advance and whatever um, I digress um, so I write it all down um, usually about a month in advance and this is erasable ink actually so if things change if I don't really like a video idea all of a sudden or I come up with a better idea or I end up with a collab video I want to do I will put that here instead and just adjust it as I go here, I also was originally circling the dates that videos posted. I haven't really been doing that anymore. I think I just, I've figured out like it's three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you know? So I don't really need that tracking system anymore. All right, so I can flip through this stuff. Like this wasn't, all these early pages were before I really knew what I was doing. Um, with my planning style. So I, as you guys know, I have my budgeting sheet. And then in the monthly reviews, I'll show you this one. I write down all my debt snowball stuff. This is where I have the info when I do my monthly reviews. So I write down all of my debts 
and how much it was last month and how much my debt is this month and how much I paid off. So this I do at the end of the month. So this was for October, not for September, if that makes sense. So if you flip to, it's almost the end of January. I haven't written any of that stuff down yet because it's at the end of the month that I fill it out. I also write down my YouTube statistics. So October, this was right after I started my channel, I think like, well, no, a couple months after I started it. Um, I had 25 subscribers, 1,000 views, I'd made $4.20 of revenue, 25 likes, 21 comments. Um, I think it was just adding 25 subscribers and then I realized I should just write down my total number of subscribers. Um, yeah, so like in November my total number of subscribers was 140. So yeah, I keep track of all of that YouTube info because it's just cool to see. Um, like this month I only made $2.66 in revenue and that's honestly, I don't make very much because I'm new and it's not really about that. I think this channel is just motivating in general, but I do like to track it just to see. Um, and it's cool because then I can keep track of it growing and I can look back years later and see how it goes. Um, so yeah, in my monthly view, I also write down the videos I'm posting. So December review, annual fee master list, plastic surgery, um, all these videos that I posted for you guys. Okay, so this doesn't count because I was still sort of on vacation mode. All right, YouTube, I put on the bottom. Usually the weekend I'm not doing anything because those are my busy work days. So I usually will just put like a quote or something down here. Usually Monday I film my budget with me is now and I post the video. These little half boxes are the videos that are posting that week. I also like to try to post to Instagram my weekly spread on Wednesday or Thursday and Sunday. So first half of the week and the second half of the week. Um, Tuesday is usually my filming day. So as you can see, this was January 10th and I was filming a video for the 25th and for February 3rd. Um, and so I film them this day. I usually upload them the next day. I also track um, just cool moments for my channel. Like I had gained 34 subscribers in one week without any like big collab or any shout outs from anybody. And I just thought that was really exciting. The week before, I think, yeah, I had reached 400 subscribers. So I just like to keep track of it. So here you can see was a more elaborate week. Um, I was busy and I just wasn't planning very organized, but, um, yeah, I filmed this video and uploaded it. I had this video come out. I was emailing somebody for collabs. Um, I think I was like pitching people ideas and then I filmed two more videos. So I filmed actually three videos that week and then I uploaded them this day and I noted the 400 subscribers. So pretty much I just go a couple weeks in advance. I use the little um, monthly breakdown that I showed you guys before where I list every date that I'm going to post. And so this sheet here, I'll take this, be like, okay, what do I need to film next? So, so far I haven't filmed this book review. I haven't filmed this book review. I haven't filmed an apartment tour. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that video. We'll see. Um, and then the budget with me is obviously our week by week thing. Um, so when I'm planning next week, what videos I'm going to film, I'm going to refer to this and hopefully to my March sheet as well. Um, cause I'll have planned that. All right. So this video was rescheduled. I wanted to rearrange some of my videos because I didn't like this video. I instead just canceled it. All right, so like this week, this is today for me. You probably won't see this. Huh, you won't see it until February 15th because that's how this works. So I filmed Budget With Me and posted it. Um, except for I probably didn't actually post until Tuesday because that's how the upload time worked. So I filmed a video about shame and waitressing and whether or not I feel that, which I don't, spoiler alert. I mean, this video posts on the 10th and the next, the video I'm filming now is the 15th. So 
you'll already have seen it at this point. <laughs> um, so yeah, those are the videos I filmed this week. Tomorrow our book review for Switch comes out. And then I have an acting collab on the 27th, Five Things to Do to Save Money as an Actor. And then it's just like cute little sayings. So that's how I organize my YouTube. Um, and I haven't found a system that works better than this for myself. I do want to try to, I don't know, maybe, maybe find time to film like an intro video um, or like slides and stuff to put at the beginning and end of each video. And I need to learn how to do like cards and stuff like that that they teach you on YouTube. But for now, like, my schedule's too busy that I can't be looking up the videos on how to do those things. But eventually that will be included in here as well. Like, I know in the past I've done that. Um, you know, planning my thumbnails, um, the little pictures, and commenting on other people's videos. Making sure I'm trying to find other YouTubers like myself who are actors or who are trying to budget. I just really want to make sure I'm reaching out to others and really being collaborative and supporting others who are trying to do the same thing I am. All right, well, that is how I organize my YouTube channel. Let me know if you guys have any systems that work better for you. Let me know if you have any questions because you're gonna start a YouTube channel. I don't know, just, just let me know. I will talk to you guys again soon, bye.